So basically what I'm going to do over the next hour, roughly the next hour, is I'm going to build an application that incorporates all of these things. And that's open to my interpretation, but yeah, we'll do it. Would have worked via IRC. That's true, because we get the message. <laughs> Why is theme in H3? It'll be in H1. <laughs> Rate the pineapple? I could do that. Um, strap in, everyone. Seat belts. Uh, and hello, uh, Mezzer. Thank you for that follow. Um, we got some more redemptions. Uh, koozie with a stretch. Pinky with a hydrate. Thank you very much. I am the best coder. That's not true. <laughs> I appreciate your, your confidence. Uh, and Evil J, thank you for that follow. Okay. Um, let's, okay, I'm gonna take like, okay, we're gonna put a timer on. And Chad with the resub! Thank you so much, Chad. <laughs> Thanks for being here. Uh, we're gonna put on a three minute timer. So just so we can, we can analyze all of these suggestions and, um, decide what we're gonna do, uh, with those suggestions. Oh, and there's focus mode too. Thank you, procrastinating with CJ. We're gonna enable focus mode, which makes it very hard for me to read the chat, just so I can, I can try to, try to get things done. So we're gonna do focus mode for eight minutes. Uh, no need to enable emote only, but Zen, focus, here we go. All right, so the app has to do with something with pineapples. That's the theme. I'm just gonna look up the Wikipedia article for pineapples, because I don't really know that much about pineapples. I know that they're a fruit. <laughs> I, I like to eat them sometimes. Oh, wow, I had no, look at that. A pineapple grows as like the single fruit on a plant. Wow, I did not know that. You don't get, it's not like a coconut tree with multiple pineapples falling off of it? Okay. Um, a tropical plant. <laughs> um, and it's edible. Okay, from South America. Um, can be used culinary. Okay, so we, we could do something like, I don't know, pineapple recipes or something like that. Okay, but pineapples, <laughs> that's a thing. Pi Technically, a pineapple is multiple fruits. What? The most important tropical fruit in production. Okay, I'm just going to add myself some notes down here. Tropical. Something tropical. Like a vacation to Hawaii or something like that. Uh, Abacaxi. Oh, that's pretty cool. In, in, uh, in Portuguese? <laughs> Okay, so uh, makes sense says love. We can definitely incorporate some love. We'll just have hearts all over the app. Uh, SimSim says light bulb. What if we are like generating ideas or something like that based on uh, something? It could be a game, a game of generating ideas. Um, we need to involve dragons somehow. <laughs> um, and there's sun. We can make it bright and shiny. Tinder swipe. We could make it so that we list out potentially ideas. And then you can swipe left or right on your ideas. And um, if you swipe in an idea, instead of maybe, maybe instead of like on Tinder, how it has hearts, I think it has hearts. I don't know. But um, we, we use pineapples as like a like. And then we use dragons as not a like. Chicken. All right, I, here's what we're gonna do. I think our uh, this I'm actually I'm changing. I'm changing my mind. You can't stop me. The theme is Tender Swipe. We're gonna build a Tender themed app that incorporates all of these things. That's 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 what we're gonna do. Um, and we have 10 seconds left. That's the plan. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, so I'm gonna create a. I'm gonna, this is just gonna be a, a static app. I don't think I'm gonna build a backend. It's just kind of like a prototype. We'll get it working. So I'm gonna create my index.html. We'll have like a basic website. Um, cool. And this will be a tender like app. I think we're going to use chicken here. So we'll have the, the profiles that we're swiping against are just different kinds of chickens. Um, <laughs> so we can find different, uh, if you, the way that you all could help me is if you could find some images of chickens and come up with some bios for those chickens. Like they need like a one sentence bio. Um, Yes, and that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna do pineapples mean yes, and dragons mean no. Um, we'll do something with hooks. I don't know what. We'll use a key. We'll have a keyboard. Swipe left for chicken. Swipe right for dragon. Well, no, I like the idea of having chicken-themed profiles. 
<laughs> okay, so, uh, and we're gonna come up with a name. Um, we need a, we need a name related to um, chickens. A git repo with chicken bios. Foul. We're gonna call it foul play. <laughs> Or fa foul friend. No, we're gonna call it foul friends. This thing is called foul friends. That's that's the name. Um, foul friends. Cool. And you're you're just trying to find your next uh, chicken friend. Okay. So I have a basic HTML web page. Uh, right now, we're just gonna put the title at the top. We'll probably wrap that in a header. Um, put that h1 in there. And let's see what we get. So I'm going to use this tool called Light Server, which is just a static file server. Basically, it'll, it's going to serve up the files. Um, and there we go. We have a basic foul friends thing. Uh, let's give it some basic styles. Um, I don't think I don't think I'm going to use a, a CSS framework. Uh, we're just going to we're going to try to make it look the best that we can. So I'm going to do a styles.css. We'll create that file here. Um, and then we're going to do like a, a, a rudimentary reset. We're going to say everything has no margin and everything has no padding. Um, and everything has a box sizing of border box. Cool. Um, and then the body um, will have a font family of sans serif. And uh, our header um, will have a text align of center. And just like that, we have a web page. <laughs> All right, now the, the H1 that's inside of the header, actually, I'll just put it on the header itself. No, the H1 inside the header. Um, so if I do header H1, I want that to have a little bit of margin top uh, and bottom. So top and bottom, we'll do uh, two rims and then a zero on the left and the right. And that should push it down a little bit. There we go, we have foul friends. Very good. Um, and now um, we need some sort of um, like user card that you're going to be swiping against. So I'll have like a main area um, and then this will have um, like a card inside of it. We'll have a div, give it a class of card. Um, and we need, I need some example data, but for now I'll just, I'll just write it in and then we can fill it in with the, like the, the funny chicken names that you all come up with. So, um, there's a chicken image. Awesome. <laughs> okay, so this chicken's name is Fred. Um, he's going to have an image. Um, let's see if this works. There's the Place Kitten website. For now, it's a placeholder. Placekitten.com. Create an image 200 by 200. A P tag with some lorem ipsum. Um, okay, what do we get? There we go. This is Fred. <laughs> he's a foul friend. <laughs> Um, and we, we're going to style this. So we're now you, we put it in this div class card place. Is there really place chicken.com? Cause that's perfect. If there is, if there's not, there's not, <laughs> it didn't work. <laughs> uh, okay, cool. So, um, now we want to style this card. So I think what I'll do first is I'll, I'll, we'll style the main, which is the wrapper around it. Um, and the main we'll say has a width of like 60% and then um, an automatic margin. So that should make it so the center section, um, oh, not dot main, main, because it's a main element. Yeah, so the center section now just takes up 60%. That's great. Um, and then we're going to put the, we're going to style this card so it looks kind of like a, a swipeable card. Be right back, developing placechicken.com. Nice. <laughs> uh, and so the card. Um, let's just say has a border of two pixels, uh, solid black. Well, well, we'll fix this. We'll come up with the color palette and all that good stuff, but I just want to see it happen. Uh, we're going to add a border radius, which is going to give it... Well, actually, I'll show you this. So this should just add a black outline like that. Um, but we want a border radius, which will give it some, some curve. We'll do a 10 pixel border radius. And yeah, it's a nice little curve. That's very good. Uh, we'll add some padding. So padding will give it space inside of the card. Um, let's do two rims of padding. Yeah, look at that, great. <laughs> um, and I think we'll just flex box the whole thing. So it should be flex centered um, and everything should be aligned in the center. Um, so um, we'll do display flex. And we'll say flex direction is column because it's going up and down. 
and then the we'll do uh, align item center and justify content center um, and that should center everything yeah look at that it's beautiful <laughs> we'll put a little bit of padding on the image uh, well a little bit of margin so it spaces out the things that are around it uh, margin uh, one rim yeah look at this that was pretty good <laughs> for a speed run. Um, now we're gonna we're gonna get some uh, example profiles. We're gonna make it so that you can potentially swipe or click yes or no. Um, yeah, so I'll talk about rims. So rims are relative to the uh, the root element. Ugly is the new. We're gonna make it look even nicer. We're gonna come up with a color palette. It's gonna be great. Um, but uh, right now, I think the default font size um, is I think it's something like sixteen pixels. Yeah, yeah, 16. And you'll notice when I set that default, so I set the font size of the body, that's the, the parent most element. Um, and I set that to 16 and nothing on the page changed. But what's cool about rims are these are all relative to the root element uh, sizing. So because I set this as two rim, this is set technically uh, 32 uh, pixels. And the two rims here are is also 32 pixels and this is 16 pixels. Um, Yep. And so if I change this, now all of the other uh, sizing on the page will increase proportionately. So that's a nice thing about uh, rims are that um, you can do it all based off the root element. And then you could have something like a media query. Um, I don't know how media queries work. Uh, min width. Um, I, for I always forget the syntax for media queries. media query somebody help me help me <laughs> um i need i need examples media at rule there thank you thank you i work at mcdonald's <laughs> that took a second actually i guess i was pretty close yeah yeah okay um so we have this media query, and we could say um, the max width for a device, let's say, is like 600 pixels. So when whenever we're on a device that's 600 pixels or less, we can actually adjust the, the root font size to be 32 pixels. Um, and this is kind of like responsive. I mean, it, it is uh, responsive design. So now what will happen is whenever the page gets less than 900 pixels, the font size will increase for everything on the page. Yeah, like that. And so you can kind of like style for mobile, like based on rims. And then someone asked, what's the difference between M's and rims? Rims are relative to the root element. So the root element here being the body. M's are relative to the parent. So they, they increase and decrease in a similar way. But if the parent has a different font size, then it uses that. Cool. That was fun. Thanks for asking. We learned some. Who learned something just now? Who learned about M's and rims? <laughs> Um, and thank you, uh, Misfit, for that follow, and uh, Astro Marksman for that follow as well. Uh, oh, we got another focus mode. All right, um, I'll put it in the parking lot. Um, I realized I missed a bunch of chats while that happened. Nice. Oh, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Um, did we get? Let me see. There are pictures in the live. Yeah. Let me let me open up the Discord because we need we need chicken pictures and we need chicken bios. Uh, I guess it could. It, it, Maybe it is the HTML. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, you can technically use percent because percent is based on the parent element. So percent is very similar to using M's. Yeah. Um, oh, these are great. <laughs> these are so good. <laughs> um, all right. Felt cute. Mike Cluck later. <laughs> nice job, Jules. <laughs> <laughs> All right, um, I'm just gonna use this chicken uh, really quick, and then um, and then we will uh, we'll, we'll we'll make it interactive so that way we can actually cycle through the different chicken chickens. Um, but this is their 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 ba their bio or their text. Let's close that for a second. It's huge. Okay, so what we need to do is we need to we need to set a max width, um, or potentially a max height on the image style, so that way it doesn't overflow outside of the card. Um, so for one, if we just gave the image a width of 100%, then it's going to take up 100% of the parent, and then it'll just be inside the card. 
and right the car the the parent already has um uh padding so that's where the padding on the side is coming from from the parent um i think that's fine that looks pretty good <laughs> um all right what are we doing more chicken pictures we got chicken pictures um let's see so the name is foul friends um we have incorporated chicken and we know what we're gonna do with that it's i mean this is honestly this is all about this is about chicken love chickens can find other chickens to um to to date or to be friends with right so this is all about the love we'll add some yeah, i'll do this let's add a footer to the page um i'm missing the debt oh yeah you're right thank you <laughs> Uh, but let's add a footer. Um, oh, <laughs> tender instead of tender. That's so good, yo, David. Um, yeah, we're going to call it chicken tender. <laughs> that's so, okay, that's a way better name than Foul Friends. I love it. That's so good. Uh, we, we're, um, does anybody know the markdown for crossing something out? Is it that? Chicken tender. <laughs> um, preview. Yeah, I'm laughing a lot. This is pretty fun. Um, open preview. Yeah, that was it. So tildy tildy will cross something out. Chicken tender. Nice. All right, but I'm going to add a footer that just says um, made with love. Green heart. On coding garden. <laughs> or tender chicken. A complete rebrand in three, two, one. We're, we're moving fast. We're pivoting, right? We're pivoting. <laughs> um, okay, so there's my footer, and by default, it just—it's just like over there. Um, I want to um, make it appear at the bottom of the page. So I'm gonna say my footer has a position of. We can do fixed. Why not? Let's just do fixed, um, and we'll say the bottom is at zero, um, and so that should push it all the way to the bottom, just like that. And then we'll give it a background of um why not we'll do it black. we're gonna we're gonna get a color palette next that's the next thing so background black uh width 100 percent, and then color white so the text should be white and then we'll center it so i'll do text align center and then we should get a nice little footer that says made with love by coding carbon <laughs> i will add a little bit of padding let's do like 0 0.5 rims of padding and that'll space it out a little bit just like that cool um okay um, we need to find a color palette. So we're going to use this tool called Coolers, which is really sweet. Um, it will generate color palettes for you um, and find complementary colors. How did I personalize the VS Code syntax? Uh, check out my settings for VS Code. Exclamation mark VS Code will get you a link. Um, and then if you look at my settings JSON, that's how I did it. Um, Coach Joe mentioned Tender? Oh, I missed it. I missed it. Well, thank you, Coach Joe. <laughs> and, and David, who also said it. That's the first one that I saw. All right, the cool thing about this is you can press space, generate a new palette, and then when you find something you like, you can lock those colors in, and then it will start to generate things based on those colors. I kind of like this orange color. I don't know. Maybe you don't, but I do. Chickentender.com is available. <laughs> uh, okay, so I'm going to lock in that orange color, and then we're going to generate colors that are complementary to that orange color. Um, this could be a nice black to use instead of like just the default black. That's a cool blue. Um, I, I'm and now I'm kind of looking for a um, like a purplish, a light purple or a light blue. Yeah, this this bow blue. That's pretty good. Actually, this is pre this is a pretty good palette right here. What do you all think of this palette? And we got some follows. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Utokia, for the follow, and Abian and Robert Mermaid and Izenshu. Thank you for the follows, um, and thank you, Kenneth, for that posture check. Oh, and uh, mind us. Thanks for being here. Very bold. I like it. Yeah, nice. Okay, yeah. Well, there's a few. There's a few confirmations. So yeah, we're gonna go with this color palette. Um, so let's say that the background of the page is this bow blue. Um, so we're gonna use that. And then now in our body, we'll say uh, background is this uh, bow blue. And instead of using black, we're gonna use this rich black for the color. Um, and actually, let's set up some CSS properties or some CSS variables. Um, so I'll say uh, font color is this. Um, and then I can use that variable 
this, and this is supported directly in Chrome, which is pretty sweet. So I'll say var with that, and then I want to use that same variable um, down here on the. Um, wait, no, I don't. Actually, I'll use that variable here for the border. We're probably going to change the color of the border, but that's okay. Is uh, the background? Yeah, so background is a shorthand property. Um, you technically can do background or just background color. They'll both, in, in my scenario, because the only thing that I'm setting is the background color, they'll both work in the same way. Um, but background is a shorthand for like color, image, center, all that good stuff. <laughs> all right, what do we got now? Ooh, there's a nice blue background. That's pretty good. Um, all right, what should the color of the card be? Um, I, let's try mulberry. Let's see. Um, I, probably, I should probably put all of these in variables. Um, I feel like eating some chicken wings. <laughs> That's okay. We'll just we'll just put this color directly in. Um, so card background is this. Ooh, chicken tender. <laughs> Um, yeah, Javas, if you want your VS Code to behave exactly like mine, then yeah, you can delete everything. Otherwise, you can kind of just look at it property by property and, and choose which ones you want. Yeah. Um, let's let's pick a font. Yeah, yeah. Uh, there's a really cool font, a really cool website called fontpair.co um, that will pair a title font with a body font. So let's say we want like a serif title font and a sans serif body font. And this pairs the two, and typically they're usually available on Google Fonts. <laughs> Getting some spicy wings, nice. Um, oh, 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 clicking too many buttons, but thank you, Pojo, thank you for that follow. Uh, and we have a few redemptions. Um, hydrate, thank you, Happy Jojo. And Chief Mastardo, cheers. But also, we have a focus mode, which we have not redeemed. I don't know if we're ready to redeem the focus mode yet. Yeah, so all all these uh, all these tools I'm showing you um, are really useful if you're not very good with design. Like, pick colors that work well together, uh, pick fonts that look good. Um, let's let's find a let's find a pair. I kind I like this one, Bitter and Railway, uh, and they're both available on Google Fonts. So I'll show you how we can add these to the web page. Um, so the heading font is Bitter. Um, I don't want to down. No, don't download. Oh, okay, we want. Uh, Bitter regular, and potentially bitter bold. <laughs> Waterford Way with a Twitch Prime sub. Thank you very much. <laughs> um, look at all these bookmarkable links. Yeah, we're just we're dropping knowledge today. Okay, so we got uh, that, and then we're also going to search for railway. So we're going to bring in bitter. That's going to be our header font, um, and then railway. Yeah, this is going to be our body font. So the header font are things like titles. Um, so we do regular, and we'll do. Um, bold like that so um the railway will be for the body so anywhere we have a lot, a lot of text like the the user's bio is going to use railway and anywhere that is a title will use bitter um okay so now we can embed it we can grab this link that they generate for us we'll put this at the top of the html um, above our styles like that so now we've brought in uh those fonts and now we can use them um so on the body i'm going to set the font to railway Uh, instead of sans serif, well, it's uh, sans serif is the fallback. So for wh if for whatever reason the user's browser cannot load railway, it's going to load that sans serif. Um, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to target every single uh, header item. So h2, h3, h4, h5, and h6. And I'm going to set all of those to have a font family of bitter. And just like that, we got ourselves some fonts. Chicken tender. <laughs> um, this is Fred. Um, <laughs> all right, if we set the, um, can you do header slash D? What do you mean? Oh, uh, like a regular expression? That's not going to work. Not in, not in CSS. Um, let's set the font color of the card to be white. Does that work? Yeah, that works. I think that works. So someone how to get questions on the questions list. Uh, exclamation mark Vox. But I'm not looking at those questions today. Okay. I think, what, what else do we need? I think we're almost there. We just got to add some interactivity. Um, oh, we got to in incorporate light bulbs somehow. And is this a game? I don't know. <laughs> Let me get rid of these notes here. <laughs> 
<laughs> Revive Newt with the two gifted subs. Thank you so much. Uh, congrats to uh, Bravo. Oh, no, with a tier two gifted sub. Oh, thank you so much. <laughs> a mini game? Um, I mean, here's the thing. I probably only want to keep doing this for another, like, 30 or 40 minutes, but this could kind of be, like, hot or not or something like that, where we, we actually put this on the web, and people can, can choose between two different chickens, and then um, the chicken that gets chosen the most is, like, the winner, and there's, like, a leaderboard. I don't know if we have enough time to build all of that, though. We could use Firebase. That could make it really easy. Tender chicken tenders. <laughs> Light bulb can be super simple. Okay. Um, okay. The winner becomes dinner. Well, um, um, all right. Yeah, I did say no back end, didn't I? We're going to keep it simple. Keep it simple. Okay. Uh, I'm going to add some JavaScript and then we're going to enable uh, focus mode. Yeah, it, it's yeah, it's like the, that's what it was be inspired by, but it's for chickens instead. We'll see. We'll see where we get. Um, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and create some JavaScript, and then I'm going to go into focus mode. And what I want to do is I want to build out uh, a basic array of all the different chickens that we're going to be voting on. And good morning, Robin. Hello. And so I'm going to bounce back and forth between Discord to get, like, bios and images and stuff like that. Um, JavaScript! <laughs> so we can have something like an array of chickens, uh, and each one has uh, a name, like Fred, and uh, an image. Um, that goes to some URL and then a bio like that something like that is what we're gonna do <laughs> uh, I think these are brown switches um, I'm, I'm not I don't really know that much about mechanical keyboards the name of the app should be winner winner chicken dinner we've named the app chicken tender Okay, uh, thank you for these follows, and then we're going to go into eight minutes of focus while we get the, the interactivity working. So, uh, Amapu C, thank you for that follow, and Flipstar, thank you for that follow. Um, there's a fly here. And Banana Crazy, thank you for the hydrate. Cheers. Nothing as is has redeemed focus mode, so that's what we're going to do right now. Um, here we go. Now, we have this very basic web page that just shows a picture of a chicken, but we want to make it interactive. We want it to make it so that you are presented with a chicken, and then you have two buttons. One button which says you do not want to talk to that chicken, and then another button that says you like that chicken and you would like to talk to that chicken. So let's go. <laughs> um, so uh, the people in the Discord have been providing uh, images of chickens. So we got this one. Felt, felt cute. Might cluck later. That's cool. Uh, I, I may not be smart, but I know good, f <laughs> good food. Okay. So we're going to grab this image. Um, and what, basically what we need to do is we're going to create a list of all the possible chickens, and that's going to be in my code here. So um, the image is going to be that. The bio is going to be this. Like that. Um... That's pretty good. All for one and one for all. Us hints stick together. <laughs> Do it with OOP. Yeah, you know me. Um, okay, so we need another object. Um, and we need a name. We'll come up with names in a second. I think so there's actually this really cool tool, which is um, a, uh, like a service for, ra for generating random users. Oh, that's I like that better. Uh, <laughs> guess which one is me. <laughs> How do you spell witch? Uh, it was a reference to uh, the song You Down With OPP because <laughs> somebody asked about OOP. Uh, witch. That's how you spell witch. Not with a T. Is me. Guess which one is me? <laughs> witch. <laughs> okay. Uh, witch, witch. Um, cool. So there's that. There's that. We need some more. What else do we have? Uh, today is a new day. Today is a new day. <laughs> cool. Um, so the name is here. Uh, the image is here. Um, and the bio is what we just saw. 
Today is a new day. Um, where there, there's more. Chicken t like we could buy a domain. We actually could. <laughs> Chickentender.com. That's probably only like eight dollars. Um, keep swiping. I'm too fabulous for you, darling. That's 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 cute. That's really cute. <laughs> I can still see the chat. It's just very hard for me to see. It 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 um it encourages me to actually write code and not just read the chat because that's typically what happens um, if I don't have focus mode on. Um, wait, Discord is what I want. I I'm lost. I'm lost. <laughs> Today was a bad day. Oh no, SP Dean. No, that's a little too dark. We're gonna we're gonna leave that one off. Oh, and this one's name is Susan. We already um we know. <laughs> We know who um, this one is. This is Susan. Keep swiping. I'm too fabulous for you, darling. Um, <laughs> and so here's your learning moment. Uh, if we are creating a string in JavaScript, because we wrapped it in single quotes, and I want a single quote inside of that string, I can escape it with a backslash. And that tells the, the interpreter that, hey, this is actually a part of the current string that we're inside of. Yes, yes. <laughs> Hopefully you learned something. All right, um, isn't there like a fake user generator? Fake name generator, here we go. John F. Hendrick, give me a new one. Okay, so I need uh, a female who is Danish and they live in France and their name is Annemette. <laughs> so this is Annemette. Um, we want a male who is Croatian and they live in Denmark. Silvio. Hey. <laughs> um, and then that first one was Fred. We'll come up with a new name. One name should be Nugget. Okay, well, this one is Nugget. Nugget. Cool. Um, I realize, yeah. So uh, the other the other way to do this is instead of escaping it, you can wrap it in double quotes instead. Because in JavaScript, you can use either. You just have to be consent, <laughs> con um, consistent. Henry? Who's Henry? Henry the chicken? I don't know who Henry is. But I totally forgot. We actually still have this image too, which we need to load in. And this is Fred. This one's Fred. We'll put that one at the beginning of the array. Red image uh, bio. What was the bio here? Is it gonna make me laugh? Felt cl cute. Might cluck later. Nice. I realize there is some innuendo there, but also there doesn't have to be. Chickens cluck. That's what they do, right? <laughs> okay. Let's keep moving. Um, all right. So we have this array of chickens, and what we want is we want to dynamically change the name, the image, and the bio whenever we click next. Um, and we are, we are actually, we're going to, I missed your chicken? Oh, I'll add more later. I just want to get the JavaScript working and then we can, we can, get, we can add as many chickens as we want. Um, okay, we're gonna use vanilla JavaScript. It's gonna make it, it's gonna make it simple. I mean, we could use Vue. That would be way simpler actually. Let's let's do a poll, just because I feel like I feel like um, being generous by allowing you to to choose. Um, we're gonna take a poll on how I should build this. Thing. What to use? Vanilla JS. So vanilla JS means we're not gonna use any other library or framework. We're just gonna use what's supported in the browser. Um, we could also use Vue, which is a front end framework. Um, I'll let you vote on React. I'll just let you know that I don't want to build this with React. This seems like it's going to be a lot of work. Or we could use Svelte. <laughs> uh, this vote, this is only going to last for one minute. You have one minute to get your vote in. Let's go. Um, I vote for Vue. That's my vote. The reason being is uh, it's really easy. Chickentender.app, maybe. It's really easy to uh, get Vue up and going. Um, without having to like create uh, a project folder or anything like that, we can just add a CDN. We have 20 people, 21 people voting for vanilla, 30 for Vue, 10 for React, nine for Svelte. Vue. <laughs> uh, 
Um, if you're in the Twitch chat, it should be at the top. You should be able to click on it. Um, and I think there's a chat command to vote. Can anyone help that person out on how to vote? You have roughly like 10 seconds left. It should be here. Click. It's in the chat. <laughs> it's in the chat. Look at the top. All right, we're out of time. Well, the overwhelming wimmer, wi wimmer, the overwhelming winner is view. <laughs> so we're going to use view. Thank you all for participating in the democracy that is the coding garden. Uh, let's go back into focus mode. <laughs> All right, so what we're going to do for that um, is uh, Unpackage is a site that will um, allow you to bring in packages that are on NPM in as a CDN link. So I'm just going to directly grab the CDN link for view. We're going to add it to our web page. Um, and one leg chair, thank you very much for that Twitch Prime sub. Appreciate you. Uh, it's not a plugin, it's actually supported directly by Twitch. Uh, so we're going to add a script. The source here is the view library. Um, and then we'll have our code right below it, um, which is app.js, like that. Now, in our app, uh, this array of chickens, um, we're gonna use probably on our data. Same place things with the raid, welcome raiders. <laughs> uh, check out same place things. He's a member of our live coders team. He's a mod here, he's a cool dude. Um, all right, so we got chickens, but we need a view app, so. <laughs> and actually, this will be fun, this will be fun, watch this. Watch me. I'm going to take this array of chickens. Uh, we're going to create a folder. Um, create a folder called JS. We're going to put all our JS in there just to stay a little bit organized. And then I'm going to create a new file in here called chickens.js. And we're going to use exports. So module.exports. Uh, not not module.exports. Export default array. So we're not using any build tool. We're not using any transpilation. This is supported directly in the browser. We are just exporting an array of chickens. And then here in app.js, I can import chickens from uh, chickens.js, like that. Um, so we'll get that going in a second. But what I need to do here is I need to say the uh, type is module. And then after I do that, I can actually just import this JavaScript directly in the file. Right, so we have app.js, and then inside of there, we can say import view from that link, and this might just work. Array of chickens. <laughs> so I'm going to create an app, which is a new view instance. Um, it needs an element that it can live on, so I'm just going to, um, I'm going to put it on main here. So main is going to have an ID of app, and then we're going to target that element as um, where our Vue.js app is going to live. Yeah, you have to do .js in, in imports in the browser. Um, if you're not using .js, then you're using probably using something like Webpack, which hides that fact from you. But in the real world, you have to import it like that. Uh, why is this complaining? Unable to resolve. Pa oh, ESLint is complaining. That's fine. Um, all right. If we've done everything correctly, it shouldn't break. There should be no errors in the console. But is that likely? Probably not. Um... App. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So the the I do need to fix that. This is no longer app. This is JS slash app.js. Import not found default. Um, on line one. So right here, I'm actually trying to import view directly, and it wasn't found. Good evening. There might be another link. I, actually, I know what it is. I think there's a there's a UMD build that I need to get instead of the default build. Yeah, so dist um, or ES module. View ES module. This is it. So this actually does the default export. Um, this is the one that I want. All right. And it's just going to work. Process is not defined. Come on, view. Come on, what are you doing? <laughs> um, process not defined. Why are you trying to use process? ESM browser. Okay, there, that's the one that I need. ESM browser. View. <laughs> uh, 
Um, cool. But I, I think so. This this is a, this is a cool thing, and some of you front end developers might might not be aware of this, but I can literally use imports and exports directly in the browser. I don't have a I don't have a build process running. I'm not using <laughs> Vue makes me sad. That's not good. Uh, I'm not using Webpack. I'm not using Rollup or any of those other tools. This is just code running directly in the browser. It's a beautiful thing. Uh, I'll get the minified version later. I want I want good error error messages for now. But no errors, no errors, which means which means that uh, we should be able to set up some data. So I'll have my data, which is a, an, a function that returns an object. Um, that is going to have the current chicken, which is going to be uh, chickens. Well, no. Current chicken is null. Um, and then we have our chickens. And actually, current, we'll set current chicken index. Current chicken index is zero. Um, and then we'll have a computed property which returns the current chicken. Um, okay, so chickens is an array of chickens. If I log it out, we should get an array of chickens. Uh, there it is. It's all five of those uh, chickens. Beautiful. Um, and take a quick stretch. Ooh, for focus mode. Thank you, Murdoch. Much appreciated. <laughs> um... Here, we have array of chicken, <laughs> an array, an array of chickens. <laughs> all right, before I go into this focus mode, I'm gonna acknowledge all the follows and then we'll then we'll get into it. Um, and someone, thank you for that follow. And Tom Flanagan, thanks for being here. And Snarky, I might've missed one. If I missed it, I'm sorry, but I appreciate you for being here. Uh, Snarky, thank you. Uh, Random, thanks for being here. Uh, Tiago, thanks for, thanks for being here. And Dedade and Dr. Muchacho, I appreciate you. Thanks for being here. Uh, quick stretch from Javis. Two focus modes. All right, we're gonna we're gonna finish the app in the next 16 minutes. <laughs> it's gonna be done, and we're gonna put it on the web. Um, and thank you, Wolfie, for that that posture check. All right, so we're gonna go into focus mode. Uh, mods, no need to enable uh, emote only, but I will. It will be hard for me to see the chat for the next 16 minutes. Whew, here we go. All right, all right, all right. So right now, uh, we have a name on there, but uh, what we we want to get this name from data. So I'm going to have a computed property. So we're going to have our computeds here. And have a, I'm going to have a computed property called the current chicken. And this is a function which will return uh, this dot chickens. Actually, I don't, even, I don't really even need to put chickens on my data. Unless I was adding new ones. This is fine. No, we'll just do this. So we'll say chickens um, at uh, current chicken index modded by the length, I think. Because that way we can just keep increasing it or decreasing it. Uh, so modded by chickens.length. And that will be this.currentChickenIndex. Okay, so uh, the current chicken index starts off at zero, which should give us the very first chicken in the array that we created. We're gonna get Fred. And so what we need to do now is we need to get that data here in um, the card. So I'll say uh, current chicken dot name that goes there. Um, and then on the image, we're going to bind the source attribute to be uh, current chicken dot image. And then in the paragraph tag here, we're going to put uh, current chicken dot bio. All right. And just like that, we see Fred. Awesome. <laughs> um, I think, do I have the view dev tools? Yeah, I have view dev tools. So actually we can we can play around with the state here. And so I can take this current index and increment it. And then we see nugget. There's nugget. <laughs> and then we see um, so when it's two, we get Annamet. There's Silvio, there's Susan, and then it and then it wraps around. Cool. Yeah, procrastinating with CJ has basically um, figured out the randomized algorithm, <laughs> and that's how they're getting such good drops. <laughs> uh, okay, so um, great, but we don't want to interact with the dev tools. We want to be able to like click click buttons for this. Um, and let's go back to our suggestions because we're we're getting a little far away from this. Um, so we're gonna do. Did we say what we were gonna use? Oh yeah, we're gonna use. Pineapples? Pineapples if you like the chicken, and a dragon if you don't like the chicken. That's the plan. And this is sort of a game, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> it's sort of a game. It should be random. We can make it random. We'll make it random. And also the thing is, um, 
after you've already seen a chicken, you shouldn't see it again, right? Um, okay, hooks. We could technically use the composition. That's how I'm going to interpret this. We're going to use the composition API, um, which is going to allow us to write our component in a slightly different way, or write our view stuff in a slightly different way, I think, right? No. I don't know. Uh, we need some buttons, though. So let's just add some buttons to the screen. Um, so right at the bottom here, um, I'm going to create a div. We'll so call this buttons. Um, and inside of there, I have a, uh, a button that has the uh, dragon emote. And that means you don't like this chicken. And then I have another button that has a pineapple emote. And that means you do like this chicken. OK. Um, Great. If I do that, we get two tiny little buttons, teeny tiny. Uh, one other thing I need to fix um, is you can see when it's pretty large, it gets cut off by the um, the footer there. Um, let's see how, what the height of this footer is. The height of this footer is roughly 38 pixels. Um, so I'm going to do a um, margin bottom on main of 38 pixels. So that way the, well, we'll do like, we'll do 40 pixels and that way the footer will always be, uh, we'll be able to scroll. So um, top, zero, right, auto, bottom, 40 pixels, left, auto. Cool, and now I can scroll. We're gonna go bigger than that. We're gonna go <laughs> 60 pixels. Yeah, and that just lets me do a scroll like that, which is cool. I like dragons and I dislike pineapple. Well, uh, this is purely coming from the suggestion that came in, which was uh, a pineapple emote, uh, uh, sorry, a dragon emote and a pineapple emote. So that's what we're gonna use. Should we use M's? Rims? Yeah, what's 60 divided by 16? 3.75 rims. I'll do that. Should look exactly the same, but now it's based on rims, so if we change the font size, it should be good. Uh, dragon eats the chicken. Hey. Um, okay. We need to make these buttons look better. So um, let's add some custom class to the button. Uh, we're going to say the background. Uh, I don't think we've used this orange color yet, have we? So... What colors have we used? Yeah, yeah. So the orange button is going to be the you like it, and the blue button is, is going to be you don't like it. Um, okay, so, but, um, but regardless, we'll just set the background color to be this orange right now. Um, we'll say width is, um, let's say min width. It's like 200 pixels. So the they should be a little bit wider by default now. Yeah, like that. Still kind of ugly. Uh, we're going to set the font size to be like four rim. We want like really big emojis. Yeah, look at those emojis. Very good. <laughs> um, we're going to get rid of the border so it doesn't have that weird um, like gray stuff on it. Yeah, so that's gone. And then uh, we'll give it some border radius. And uh, submicron with the resub. Thank you very much, submicron, for that resub. Um, so we'll do border radius of 10 pixels. And that will give us some nice rounded buttons. Very good. Uh, and honestly, I think I'm just going to hide the title because <laughs> um, that is not really providing anything for us. And um, we have to scroll. Yeah, yeah. OK, so, but now I actually need to have main have some margin top. So um, back over on our main uh, margin top of two rims. There we go. OK, very good. Um, for some reason, the buttons don't have a cursor, so we need that. Um, We'll say cursor pointer. And so now when I hover over the button, it looks like I can click on them. Very good. Um, and then when the button is active, meaning you've actually clicked on it, uh, we're going to scale it down a little bit. So we'll say uh, transform. That is very ugly. Thank you. <laughs> I appreciate your honesty. Um, we're going to scale it down to 0 0.9. So when you click it, 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 go, it, it looks like you're actually pressing the button. So that's cool. Um, <laughs> the colors remind me of 2002 blogs. Hey, I'm trying my best. Uh, do I have two semicolons somewhere? Oh, thank you. <laughs> um, and I accidentally just closed VS Code. That's okay, though. 
Can you put the buttons outside the card at the right and the left? Should they be outside the card? I definitely want to spread them apart. So I'll show you really quick what I'm going to do to spread them apart. So right now they're like in the center, but I want them to be on opposite sides of the card. Um, and for that, I'm going to put the parent container in a flex box. So right now, uh, these buttons are inside a class called, called buttons. Um, and so right here, well, I'll put it above here. You think it's, we'll put an outline too. But buttons will say is display flex. By default, display flex is flex row, which is horizontal, and that's fine. Um, we'll make sure the width is 100%. It should already be because it's a div and it's a block level element. But we can then say uh, justify content space between, and that will put them on opposite sides because it'll give them space between, just like that. Cool. Um, we can also give some uh, margin to the button container. So. Let's do like one rim on top, none on the right, and oh, zero for everything else. <laughs> yeah, there we go. It's like Facebook for chickens, yeah. <laughs> yeah, we could do space between as well. So space between will we'll basically, uh, well, no, actually we're doing space between. We could do space evenly, um, and that spaces them so they both have the same amount of space like that, but I, I like space between because we already have, um, padding on the parent so that pushes them out from the sides cool all right we need a um a different background color based on what they are so uh what i'm gonna say is um button dot like has a background of that and button dot dislike has a background of a different color um We'll do the blue here. I don't think we've used this blue for anything. Can I make the buttons round or some other shape with CSS? Uh, yeah, so right now I have a, a small border radius. Oh, you're right. Yeah, they should be... Uh, I think that makes sense. But yeah. So let me do this. I'll add the like and the dislike class to the buttons. So this button has a class of uh, like... No, dislike, because it's a dragon. And this button has a class of... Um, uh, like... Cool. And... Uh, to just get this working, I can just add a click. So when this button is clicked, we should say uh, current chicken index plus plus. Oh no, uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> when either of these buttons are clicked, just go to the next chicken. And that's gonna give us like some super basic functionality. Um, cool, but we should have a blue and an orange button. There we go. If I click this, next one. <laughs> if I click this, next one. If I click this, really, you can click, right now you can click either of them. Um, and then it just cycles around. But I like the idea of actually making them a circle button because that's that's what they look like, right? Right. Um, okay, so right now the border radius is 10 pixels, but if I set this border radius to 50%, that makes it a circle. Whoa, no, it doesn't. <laughs> it's because we have a min width on there. Um, but if we do 50%, it's 50% of potentially the height and the width. I don't know. We'll do, we have to give it some height and width. Width, um, five rim. Height, five rim. What's up, Florin? How's it going? There you go. It's a nice little circle buttons. <laughs> it's chicken tender. Tender for chickens. Um, yeah, gl glad you could be here. I may not be smart, but I know good food. I kind of want to add a max height to the image. Like, like this is this is a decent height right here. How, how, how big is this image? It is roughly 220 pixels. I think I'm going to add a max height of 220 pixels to the image. Um... Yeah, and that way they all appear within... Yeah, look at that. Nice. <laughs> um, yeah, yeah, I guess you're. I guess you're totally right. We could actually make the card fill up the uh, the entire the entire page. I don't know. I kind of want to increase this font size too. Um, let's go way bigger. Well, actually, yeah. If we if we change the base font size, um, we'll double it. Florin with the sub. Thank you so much, Florin. I appreciate you. Um, and did we, I think we are, we might've already gotten a shout out for Florin, right? Right? Maybe not, but <laughs> shout out Florin. Um, he comes from YouTube land, just like I do. And he started streaming on Twitch instead. There you go. Thank you. <laughs> um, cool. What do we all think of this? <laughs> 
this is not i mean this is not at all useful um it is uh, let's see let's see what we've actually okay so we have taken into account um pineapples we've taken into account dragons uh we haven't done light bulbs i guess we technically haven't done hooks um we need something about a keyboard and something about the sun yeah we're gonna deploy it for sure um I have roughly 20 minutes, 20 minutes. What can we do in 20 minutes? Fixed aspect ratio, add a sunny chicken. Yeah, I'm actually open to that. So at this point, <laughs> at this point, um, let's just add more chickens. Cause I know there, there were more chicken suggestions um, in the discord. So this is my, this is my chicken template. <laughs> we're gonna, we're gonna reuse this for all the chickens that we add. Make a light bulb react to the, the weather? That seems difficult. Here comes, oh wait, I'm, I'm open to that, but we're, uh, what we're gonna do is, um, we're not gonna play the copyrighted version because that's a, that's a copyright strike. <laughs> but I will, I will open up Ableton and I'll make a piano version of it and we'll play that in the background. Um, okay. We have more suggestions. Uh, that's that's bad. <laughs> uh, this is actually really funny. All right, we're gonna go with that one. Um, so that's their image. That makes me hungry. Um, okay, so there's that chicken. Oh, that's it. <laughs> I've seen things. <laughs> Uh, can I just copy the I can just copy the image URL. That's really funny revive newt <laughs> um, All right, so this is the image the bio is I've seen things uh, What was the other ones uh, Hey <laughs> That's not that uh, This the, the text for this one is oh hi Uh, the trees can talk. Wait, what? Oh, and we, a support event happened. I don't know what it was. What was it? <laughs> um, bits, bits. Florin, thank you for the bits. Uh, we only did suggestions at the beginning, uh, cause this is the second time we've done this. And, um, I tried to get, I tried to make it so that I would get suggestions throughout the stream, but that was just unwieldy. Like there was no way. Um, so what we did is we got all the suggestions at the beginning and now I'm trying to incorporate them all. Um, and thank you for those bits, Florin. Much appreciated. I work out. Did I mention I work out? <laughs> His name is Chad. <laughs> hey, that's offensive to all the Chads out there. Actually, I think there's a Chad watching. My friend Chad. Are you offended by this? Because this person's name is Chad. <laughs> 100 more bits. Oh, thank you very much. Uh, we didn't get a name for that person. Uh, I'll, I'll talk about modulus in a second. Um, hey. <laughs> um, well, what are you looking at? I like that one, Sam. That's good. Uh, we'll click on that one. Mulligan? If you name a chicken after me, I'll take it as a compliment. <laughs> All right, well, this one's name is Core. Is your name Corey? Corex. <laughs> Florin with 348 bits. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. Are you just like emptying out your, your bits account? <laughs> I copied the wrong link. I did. Okay, sorry about that. Well, I'm not sorry. I'll fix it. <laughs> um, yeah, that's the wrong one. Where's Discord at? Oh, I closed it. Well. Welp. Um, oh, that's a penguin. <laughs> that's actually, that's, that's funny. Um, because this is an app for chickens and then there's like a random pink penguin on there. That's okay. We're open to all types of fowl. Uh, this, this, this app started as a way for chickens to meet each other. Um, but, um, nothing wrong with being a penguin. Cool. 
I might not be a real chick, but I have wings. Chicken. Cool. Uh, there's the penguin image. Um, what's this penguin's name? We need a, we need another name generator. Um, this penguin is random. They are from... Oh, there's a hype train? Oh, you all. <laughs> Thank you. We're already at level three. Wow. Much appreciated. Thank you for those bits. Ah, it's happening. Okay. Um, Italian from Iceland. <laughs> from Australia, and their name is Amedio. Um, all right, we need another name, I think, for this person. Uh, random, uh, random Hobbit <laughs> from Sweden. Maxima. Cool. Somebody cheered over 3,000 bits? Who is that? Ah! Ah! <laughs> Oh, Flo whoa! Florin, what are you doing? <laughs> what, what, what are you doing, Florin? <laughs> Thank you very much. I appreciate you. Um, okay, we need one more name. Uh, this one will be an American uh, from Switzerland. And their name is Lori. Cool. Yeah, a YouTube, a YouTube brother for sure. Okay, so with that, uh, we just now have more chickens. So there's Fred, and Nugget, and um, uh, and Amit, and Silvio. Yeah, I th okay, here's what we're going to do. In the next 10 minutes, I'm going to make it so that when I deploy this website, anyone that clicks like, we're going to like keep a, keep a count for all of the different chickens. So like likes versus dis dislikes. Um, I think I wanna get that, that, that that'll, that'll be somewhat interactive and then we can see which chicken people like the most. Um, and that gets part of, that, that clears up the game portion of it. Um, do the here comes the sun thing. Light bulb, what do we do with a light bulb? Somebody help me out. How can I incorporate a light bulb into this application? We've got quite a few cute few follows. Quite a few follows. <laughs> Thank you, Scrambly, for the follow and Citizen86. And Haribo. I really like Haribo gummy bears. Uh, thanks for being here. And Raphael, hello. And Kraken. Uh, and thank you, Florin, for those more bits. Florin with all the bits. <laughs> lot. Thank you for that follow. Uh, and Minpo. And Jamoila. Thank you for the follows. Uh, and Nanoblit. Thank you for the follows. Um, we got a few hydrates, too. All right, we'll take, we'll take a quick, quick break. Quick stretch. Quick collect our thoughts while this hype train is happening. Um, we're already almost to a level four. Uh, cheers, Garvit. Thank you for the hydrate. Oh, dark mode. I'm open to that. Yeah, let's do dark and light mode. And Smiley, thank you for the hydrate. Garvit with the stretch and revived Newt! With the, with the gift itself. Thank you. <laughs> Ricky Dean with 100 bits. Thank you so much, Ricky Dean. People are not ignoring you, Inframath Music. There are 361 people here. Potentially more or less, give or take. Plus or minus some amount. And, um... Uh, you, you know, <laughs> a lot of people are vying for my attention. And thank you, Garbit, for that stretch. I think we already stretched. Um, and Raphael, thank you for the 100 bits. And uh, Lemur, thank you for that hydrate. And Apo, thank you for the hydrate. It's going crazy, yeah. <laughs> oh, wow. Thank, oh, thank you for that. <laughs> Um, okay, what are we doing? We want dark mode and light mode. Okay, I think that's I think that's what we're gonna do, and that'll that'll uh, account for this. Sun oh no, oh, light bulb. Okay, the light bulb will be the dark mode and light mode. Hooks. We could potentially create a hook for hooking into whether or not the user has dark mode on their computer. Make it purple. <laughs> um, but there's something like a prefers dark thing I think we can use prefers prefers color scheme three HTML and CSS US UI components in one hour wait what what <laughs> uh, and funny dude with 100 bits thank you very much sun for light mode light bulb for dark mode oh I like that 
I like that. Okay. Uh, prefers color scheme is actually built into the, uh, not all browsers, but it's, it's, it's built into most everything except for Internet Explorer. <laughs> But this allows you to determine if the cur if the user prefers dark mode versus light mode. So as you can see, my um, my my computer is in dark mode, and uh, that's like a operating system level preference. And you can actually tap into that um, here uh, with prefers color scheme. And we're just going to do that in the CSS. Um, poor Internet Explorer. <laughs> and thank you, Godudis. Thank you for that follow. Wait, what's happening over here? New vi oh, there's a new video from Traversy Media. Nice, nice. Check them out. Um, yeah. Do we want to do this with JavaScript, though? Or just going to use CSS? Hmm. Add a body class. Oh! <laughs> well, thanks, Milky Dev. Shout out, Milky Dev. One of my friends, one of my viewers want a giveaway, and they want me to gift you some subs. Well, um, I, I, I had nothing to do with that. <laughs> but if you are going to give me subs, I appreciate it. But check out Milky Dev. Uh, he's a live coder. He's working on some React stuff. Um, okay. I, I need to just do this. We need, to, <laughs> we need to just do this. Thank you for that gifted sub, Milky Dev. Much appreciated. Um, Pog! Actually, you know what? Do I have a... <laughs> oh, no, that's the wrong thing. Type, type, type. Um, this, this. <laughs> All right, but thank you, David. All right, we're going to go into focus mode, and we're going to get this dark mode, dark mode um, thing going. Um... Focus. Oh, hype train! <laughs> Level four. Thank you, everyone. Uh, we're going to do focus mode, and we're going to get uh, light mode, dark mode, and then we're going to put it on the web. I, th I think that's it. We we've done enough. I I I've tried my best. It's. I mean, this is a totally useless app, but it... <laughs> it's, there's a penguin. Um, it pretty much... Um, it, it used all the things that we were suggested. It doesn't actually work. You know, this was fun. All right, we're going to do light mode and dark mode, though. Um, okay, so we have our styles. Florin with 100 bits, thank you very much. Person who run the giveaway was nothing as is. Oh, they, they're around on my channel a lot. I don't know who they are personally, but they're out here. <laughs> um, if you're hearing weird microphone issues, refresh the page. That's that's happened to me pretty lately on Twitch. Um, where it just like gets really staticky. Yeah. Image borders? Sure. Sure. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, I like I know nothing as is. They like they have they're a support like look at that. Bits bits bit badge and they've been sub for at least two months. Yeah. I could set up Ingrock. Level five? Florin, you're giving me too much money. <laughs> too much money, Florin. No worries, Xcore. Thank you very much for the forty five bits. Hey, everything is appreciated. My mic sounds scuffed. Oh. It could be this. This. I mean, or maybe not. I don't know. Um, that's a thing. Okay. Um, <laughs> does it sound scuffed? Let me know. Let me know. Uh, oh yeah, we're gonna add, are we gonna add, we're gonna add border to the the image. Mic sounds fine. Okay, cool. Um, border, two pixels, solid. Streaming from a cave. <laughs> No, I was uh, I was making some music last night, so I have my my pedal still hooked up. My uh, my TC Helicon mic mechanic. Um, what are we doing? This. <laughs> All right, let's just put should put a border on the image. That's fine. Yeah, it's okay. You hear my fan? Oh yeah, that's probably it too. Um. All right, we need to get dark mode and light mode working. And actually, do I want to use... I don't think I want to use prefers color scheme. I think I want to... Um, I'll just have a toggle. We'll have a light bulb toggle. I think that's I think that's, that's mainly... That's what we'll do. Um, so we'll say when the body... So right now, do we consider... Is this... This is light theme, right? When we go into dark theme, we're going to have a much darker background. So we'll say that this is... Um, <laughs> this is a penguin. <laughs> this is code. Penguin? 
code. Okay, I will say when the body has a, a class called uh, dark mode, um, we will change the font color. Um, uh, I mean, Milky Dev, you are a live coder. You code live. That's a live coder. <laughs> the live coders team does not have a, a trademark or a copyright on the term live coder. It originated actually with uh, coders that were live coding music. Um, so yeah, you're a live coder. Um, yeah, okay, so font color. When we're in dark mode, the font color should be uh, white-ish. Um, the background should be uh, <laughs> it's this color. I think that's it. I mean, we're just gonna we're just gonna swap. Okay, so the background goes dark, the font, the font goes black. No, we're on level five. Penguin. This is a penguin. Um, cool. If you code live, you're a live coder. Yes, <laughs> I completely agree. Um, I messed this up. Okay, font color, whenever we're in light mode, is dark. And then we're changing that, and then the color will actually be overridden to be white. Okay, we're going to have to change some other things for when it's dark mode as well. So, like, body dark mode card. Um, we need to change some colors there. So when, there, when we're in dark mode and there's a card nested inside of that, um, we want to change the background and the color. And we're gonna go to a darker color. So uh, the color that we're using right now is that pink, or sorry, this like mulberry. So let's get rid of that. And um, that we want a dark, dark color, dark color, darker color than <laughs> dark, dark color. Get rid of that blue. Oh, oh, huh. Um, I guess we can go with silver. It's kind of ugly. 21, 21, 21. What about burgundy? I don't know. <laughs> Let's just see what it looks like right now with the, um, if we, when we put dark mode on the body. So we're, we're gonna be able to toggle this. Um, so we'll say class equals dark mode. And that should swap things out. Yeah, so now we have a black background. Um, but when we're in dark mode, we do wanna change it. So did I copy? I think I, did I copy a color? I think I did. Yeah, so this is dark mode, and then the light mode is the other one. Is this good enough? <laughs> Looks good, right? That's fine. <laughs> Create text color dark and text color light and assign them. I think we're just going to have a white font no matter what. Goth mode. <laughs> I think this is fine. We're now just going to add a button that will toggle the dark mode. I think it's fine. It's, it's fine. Um, yeah, so we're going to put a button in the top right of the page, which is a light bulb that you can toggle on and off. Um, so we have a button and it has a, uh, bulb and when you click it, actually, we're just going to give this an ID of, uh, dark mode button. And the reason being is because our, we're, we're applying the dark mode class to the body and we can't really access the body inside of view because it's living on main. So we're just going to write vanilla JavaScript to do that. And that's fine. That's totally fine. Um, so I'm going to create a variable called dark mode button. And that's going to equal to document.query selector for the uh, dark mode button, the element with the ID dark mode button. And then we need to listen for when dark mode button is um, clicked. Because when it's clicked, we need to toggle the dark mode class on the body. Um, here, there, there, and we will say uh, document dot body dot class list dot toggle dark mode. 
Just like that. Um, so now we have this button. And it toggles! Look at that! <laughs> um, so I'll, I'll, I'll make the button have a different background when we're in light mode. Pog. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> um, and we, wanna, we also want to position it on the, the far right. So let's go ahead and do that. In our CSS, we're going to say this element with dark mode button has a position of fixed. Um, top is one rim, so it'll be one rim down from the top. And right is one rim, so it'll be one rim. Uh, that's a penguin. That's a penguin. And this is the button that we can click. So when we're in when we're in uh, light mode, um, we need to set that background to be a little bit different. Um, why are you crying, Andrew? <laughs> why can't I use at click on document body? Oh, the main reason is um, Vue.js cannot live on the body element. Um, Vue.js can only live on a nested element. Which is why I have Vue.js living on the main. The light bulb should turn off. Is there a, another light bulb emoji? There's not an off and an on emoji. Oh, oh, we were gonna toggle between um, the sun, right? Toggle between the sun and uh, and the light bulb. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so click the sun. The sun and the moon. Well, the main reason I'm using the sun and a light bulb is because those were in, uh, <laughs> those were suggestions. <laughs> uh, these here. Um, I I kind of really do want to play. Here comes the sun. Um, that would be that would be fun. But um, we need to we need to toggle out those um, um the, the emoji. We need to change the emoji when the button is clicked. Um, okay, so um. We can say if document.body.class name. Actually, can I do class list dot contains? Oh, look at that. Beautiful. Beautiful thing. So if we're in dark mode, then that means we're going to light mode. Um, otherwise, we're going into dark mode. So if we're in dark mode, then that means the emoji is currently um, a sun. Right, so I can say uh, dark mode button dot text content equals uh, a light bulb. Otherwise, it equals a sun. Is that right? Okay, so sun, light bulb, sun, light bulb. <laughs> I don't know how you have so much energy. I'm tired from just watching. <laughs> well, hopefully that's not a bad thing. <laughs> Uh, toggle takes a second parameter. What's that second parameter? Force. If not given, toggles removing if it's present. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Should be true. Yeah, the emoji picker is uh, just built into a Mac. Uh, command control space um, opens it up on a Mac. If you're on Windows 10, command or uh, Windows key period will open it up. Um, okay. I think we're done. <laughs> we, we did a lot today. There's been tons of supports events, support events. I think the last thing I want to do is I want to make that button a little bit darker whenever we're in light mode. Um, so the dark mode button so when the body is in dark mode um, it's actually fine. Background is initial. But uh, when it's not in dark mode, we want the background to be um, something a little bit darker. So we look at our color palette. We'll use this green. It's a nice green color. Okay, so uh, background is that. Wait, what? Oh, not initial. Uh, we want it to be like a gray color. There we go. All right. Click it. It broke. <laughs> what did we break? Um, make it purple? Okay, I'll make it purple. Just for you, Florin. Um, so you, you should see what my light mode looks like, though. Oh, I think it's because I added force. I shouldn't actually do this. <laughs> 
Yeah, we'll make it purple. The the, the purple could clash with that background. Rebecca purple? <laughs> it was always because of um, because true. Okay, I see. Um, so in light mode, I like the green there. We'll make it purple in dark mode. There you go, just for Florin. We got ourselves a purple button. <laughs> we can toggle. We can also uh, go through all these chickens. We're done. Oh, you weren't telling me to do it. Okay. Um, Florin with the bits. Thank you very much, Florin, for the 100 bits. Oh, uh, yeah, Zachary has a good question. Oh, and somebody else had a question earlier. Feel free to ask that again, and I'll, and I'll talk about the code. It looks, it looks decent, right? It's not bad. <laughs> Copper Beardy with the raid. Welcome, raiders. Welcome to the show. We're actually just finishing up, but I'll, um, um, it's a perfect time for you to, to show up because I'll explain everything that we just did um, and kind of like talk through it. But there was a question. Why did I use an arrow function right here? Um, the main reason is because I, I like them. In this particular scenario... I am not accessing this. I'm not accessing uh, potentially what a function would have been bound to. So it's okay to use an arrow function. Uh, this this code would work exactly if I used uh, the function keyword. But you can see my linter is yelling at me. Well, actually, my linter is yelling because um, I didn't have a function name. What else is it saying? Yeah, prefer arrow. So I have a linter rule that says prefer arrow, but technically either way will work. And the reason either will work is because I'm not accessing this. If I were accessing the this keyword, then it would matter. But in this case, it doesn't matter. Yeah, you could do uh, keyboard keys. Yeah, I'm going to push all this code to GitHub. So you, if you want to add stuff to it, you're more than welcome to. And then, uh, one last thing I'm going to do is put it on the web. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> What's up, Mary Jo? Welcome, welcome. Did we already get a shout out for Mary Jo? I guess I might have missed it during... Um, uh, during focus mode, but check out Mary Jo. She's a, a live coder as well. Raid train, welcome. Yeah, and check out Copper Beardy. He's also a member of our live coders team. GG. Yeah, the binding is different. Exactly. Sell the idea to Facebook. <laughs> yeah, I'll take PRs. The the only thing is, um, if I don't want you to uh, change anything drastically, because if people watch this on YouTube, I want the code to be mostly the same. But yeah, I'm very much open to um, uh, pull requests. Was that Luffy Bubble? What? I don't know. I'm deep in the modes, yeah. <laughs> uh, you can apply, for, and I think that they have a requirement for a number of followers and average viewers, but you can apply. Definitely, definitely apply. Um, okay. We sadly did not get to these suggestions, but I look, I used a keyboard the whole time, so that satisfies. And sometimes chickens are on hooks, so that's satisfied as well. We didn't get to make the Here Comes the Sun song, but that's okay. Uh, I'm going to put this on GitHub, and then I'm going to put it on the web, too. Um, so all of that. Uh, GitHub.com slash coding garden slash coding dash improv. You will get the, um, <laughs> get the link. Can one of the mods post the link in the chat? Uh, and I think I'm going to set this up with, uh, now, but keyboard, I don't know. I'm sorry. I, I gotta go. Uh, nope. new project. Uh, we called this chicken tender, didn't we? Oh, I should add it to the improv command for sure. So I'm using uh, Versal, which is a tool for deploying websites. Oh, look, I got the new Versal domain, chickentender.versal.app. All right, here you go. Everyone in the chat can visit this website, um, and you can decide to either like using a pineapple or dislike the current chicken that you're looking at. So this is the app that we built today. Uh, you can also toggle between light mode and dark mode. <laughs> um, and we called it chicken tender because it's it's for it's chickens, but it's like tender, chicken tender. Um, I'm not gonna buy a domain. I don't think it's I don't think it's worth buying a domain. <laughs> yeah, and and right now we're we're not keeping track. Um, guess a number between one and a hundred. Uh, Thirty-seven. Um, we are not keeping track of what who likes what. There's no database involved or anything like that. Right now it's literally just this. <laughs> um, awesome. And <laughs> thank you for. It. Yeah, the emojis will look different because these are native emojis. Um, cool. So this this is the app that we built. And basically, we started by allowing people to, to suggest things in the chat. So people suggested, um, 
Well, R- Ramoon suggested Tinder Swipe. That was the initial idea that we used. Uh, I initially called the app Foul Friends, but then somebody was like, Chicken Tinder, of course. So we called it Chicken Tinder. Uh, Guan the Third had the suggestion Chicken Makes Sense said Love. Uh, love was incorporated down here. And also it's Tinder. That has to do with love. Um, pineapples are good. Dragons are bad. Only for this app. It's not th- always that way. Technically, this is sort of like a game because you're just clicking buttons. There's buttons that you can click. Is it really a game? I don't know. Um, keyboard, or this is the fact that I coded on a keyboard the whole, t- the whole time. Hooks are the fact that sometimes chicken are on hooks, I guess, but we didn't actually use that. Um, light bulb and sun was used to, uh, to say that we're gonna have light mode and dark mode. I'm allergic to pineapples. Yeah, that's bad then. Yeah, that, that's bad. <laughs> and dragons kill things, so that could be bad. Coded on a keyboard. <laughs> All right. Um, so that, that's basically what we did. We got a bunch of random suggestions and then we, and then we built the app. Um, and it's pretty simple. Um, so the, the HTML you can see just has a card and that displays the current chicken. Uh, when you click either of these buttons, it just advances to the next chicken. Uh, in the discord, we got a bunch of suggestions for different chicken pictures and chicken statuses. So that was fun. Uh, and then it's a very simple Vue.js app that just, uh, sets the current chicken to be the one that is, um, the current index. Oh yeah. And somebody asked about this modulus. What happens here is the chickens array is only a certain length. So the chickens array is, um, uh, this length. And when we get to the end, we want to wrap back around. So what we do here is instead of like having custom logic that checks, is the current index greater than the length? And if it is set it back to zero, what we're doing is, uh, we're, taking the remainder of the division by the length. So when the chicken index is equal to um, length, the modulus is zero, so that chooses the zero index. When chicken index is equal to length plus one, the result of the the remainder of the division is one, so that chooses index one. Smart way, I mean, it's one way. (laughs) So incrementing the index just chooses the next chicken. That's like I said, there's no database, it's super basic. We're just cycling through this array of chickens. Uh, we've been live for two hours, but we started coding at about 30 or 40 minutes in. So r- roughly an hour and a half. Let's say that. Um, okay. And then the other thing is the dark mode. And for that, we're not even using view. We're just using a vanilla JS click handler on the button. And then we're toggling the class. Um, all of the styles we wrote custom. We used some CSS variables, so that was fun. Um, and yeah, this is our app. We did it. Could I use a whiteboard? No. <laughs> yeah, I'm leaving. <laughs> We're going to raid someone, though. Stick around for the raid. Um, and um, solarize mode. Oh, yeah. And the reason we did this, because somebody suggested uh, sun and light bulb. Can I preload the next image so it doesn't take time when pressing the button? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but am I going to? No, because I have to go. Um, I think it's, is it coding improv? Imp- improv coding. What's the title of my stream? Coding improv. Oh, yeah. OK, so the code is here. Episode one. Thank you all for being a part of this. I appreciate you.